Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, spring is here. We're all gonna be doing some yard work, and what I had to do was I had to like kind of upgrade my yard a little bit. I used to put mulch, but you know, it's a pain in the butt to, to do mulch. So I decided to do gravel this time. Uh, it's more permanent. I don't have to redo it every year. Hopefully, I don't have to do it ever again because holy crap, it's heavy. But um, doing this uh, so I got one load of gravel and I did this part of my yard that I have a huge piece in the back that I need to also put gravel and I was using my old wheelbarrow now that wheelbarrow it's about 12 years old I got that back in 2000 uh, sorry 11 years old uh, I got that in 2012 in the previous one that I owned and it's been great but it has the wood handles it's very wobbly and I do have a bad back, so I need something a little bit more stable. I don't want to struggle, you know, balancing the whole thing. So, uh, that gave me a lot of trouble, and it's also falling apart at this point. The wood is no longer sturdy, the, the wheel fell off a few times. So, I decided, and 12 years, 11 years ago, I paid about 40 bucks, 50 bucks for this thing. So, I decided to go with a new one Cobalt. Now, it's blue my favorite color it is bigger uh, and it, ha it has metal uh, steel handles it has a solid wheel and I will believe the wheel rim is aluminum it definitely feels more solid now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill both of these and I'm gonna do a wobble test see which one wobbles which one doesn't but before we get to this, um, it, the Cobalt one comes with, with a great handle. Um, it seems pretty solid. Uh, the wheel guard, you know, it's a standard wheel guard. It's bent, it doesn't move up and down the way they have it shaped. Um, I mean, it's just a wheelbarrow. I mean, there's not much options to this thing, but it is. A, it has a bigger bucket. So larger bucket means I can load more. Uh, I just don't know how uh, it's gonna, how I'm gonna feel when I fill it up more than what I used to fill that one up. How much heavier it will be, how much easier it will be to maneuver. But the fact that the tire is a solid tire, it's a plus. It could be a minus in certain aspect, but it's a plus because you don't have to worry about the the air. Um, the handles, it's a it's a rubberized handle, so it has a good grip. It's kind of a little bit bigger than the other one that I have. Um, and I believe the steel they use on this is slightly thicker than the one that I used to have because that one's ripping at this point. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna, but before I do that, I'm gonna load them both up. Let's do a comparison. Let's see which one's better. All right, guys. So now they're both filled up with gravel. All right. Um, they have about almost the equal amount of gravel inside this actually can take more I didn't want to make it any heavier than it is now just because I want to do a functionality test but you know let me let me show you guys the difference between the old one and I have to say the old one has been like this ever since I bought it so this is not a developing problem but if you see this thing just wobbles out of control. Okay, it's been like this since I bought it. The construction of this thing is not that great. It's it's cheap. Now you come to this. Okay, this one I am literally just moving very hard, but it's solid. So look at this. See the handles going up and down. If you can see this, but here, look. So this is not a solid uh, wheelbarrow. Now this, this is actually a lot heavier than that one. I'm actually purposely moving the handles, trying to see if this will give me any play. I don't get any play. So, and I find that this actually it's a lot less, 
it's putting less strain on my back than that one because that one I constantly had to balance and control and make sure it doesn't tip over and whatnot. And this I don't have to worry about it. So for the price difference of almost a hundred dollars, um, I won't say about eighty bucks. Because that one I think was about fifty bucks when I bought it. This was I just picked it up today from Lowe's and this was a hundred and thirty dollars. So but I mean in comparison they have the same wheelbarrow right now the same setup for a hundred bucks so for 30 bucks more today's prices you could get something better like this so um, let me know what you think if you have the same one and I did try the double wheel ones that they have now they're about hundred and eighty dollars boy they are hard to maneuver they're not easy so you can't really take sharp turns if you have a if you have an uneven ground it's super super difficult to to maneuver so if you have a very straight area and if you're just doing on concrete over like very flat surface the dual wheel will work better but for my purpose this is the one so i'll put the link down below let me know what you think peace out